We're here with Vote Squamish Election 2011 and my Squamish and we're just seeing our first mayoral candidate tonight. Rob Kirkham is going to announce he's running for mayor and it's pretty exciting but we're going to go in here and see because we do have a candidate running. We're going to go in here and we're going to check out the crowd. We're going to see what's happening and hear a little bit from Rob. Come with us. <laughs> We're with Elliot Moses from the Squamish Chamber of Commerce. Hello, Elliot. Hello, Denise. Just back from the BC Chamber Executives meeting, I understand. Correct. Up in Smithers, so a little tired. I don't know if the close-up's good, but... Uh... A little tired. At close-up, you still look great. Elliot, what do you think the big issue is for our next mayor of Squamish? Definitely, there's a few issues on the on the go out there, Denise, and I think one of them be the jobs. We need to get more jobs, and whether it be industry or whatever it takes to get a little, few more jobs in town. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about the public parks, get parks out there for the kids. It's a very kid-friendly community, and uh, so I think you got to touch it into the families and keep the businesses happy. So whatever it takes to get people to stay and turn to the downtown here, uh, spend a few extra dollars, a few extra nights. Gondola seems to be a good uh, step in the right direction, so, yeah, those are some of the issues. We're here with uh, Peter Gordon We're here and for Brian a better, Hughes. Better, for a better Squamish. And they're here for a better Squamish. Do you, what do you feel the issues are for the next mayor, whoever that next mayor is? What do you think the issues are? I think getting the ocean port um, up and going is the main issue for me. And when you say that, are you talking about the uh, uh, park component? Are you talking about the jobs component? What park component are you talking about? The whole component, whether it's commercial, residential, park, just do something with this, our 70 acre pile of dirt. Okay. And uh, Peter Gordon, any comments? I agree completely with my friend here, Brian. Let's get it going. We have consensus. Oh, we're speaking to Gord Addison. And Gord, what do you think the issues are for the mayor and the next mayor of Squamish? I think definitely job, jobs in town. Um, development always, you know, how do you maintain the balance and development between preserving and getting viable developments through versus not developing too much. Um, but definitely I think local jobs is going to be the big issue for most of it. I'm with Owen Carney. Owen, what do you feel the issues are for the next mayor of Squamish? What do I think the issues are? I would say to carry on doing the job that Greg Gardner did and lead a good, solid uh, team forward. Um, imagine the power of unified passions. You've probably seen that up there, and I believe that with all my heart. I look out to you people gathered here today, and I can imagine the amazing things that we can accomplish together. All, um, other Squamish notables here, we have Ian Davis, the president of Squamish Community Foundation, and Linda Van Mook. Ian, what do you feel the issues are for the next mayor of Squamish? Well, I think a little continuity is, uh, is really important to uh, the existing council. I, I do think the existing council has gotten the house in order or have taken major steps along the lines of getting the house in order here. And I'd like to see that continue. Thank you. Linda, any comments about the issues on the horizon for the next mayor as well? Well, I'm excited about uh, Rob running for mayor. I believe in him. And uh, I'm very excited to hear about the ocean front and how far along it is. Uh, I believe that Rob will, will pull it off. I think he's going to change this community. We have with us uh, present mayor Greg Gardner. And Greg, you've just come off of, well, you're not quite off but you're coming off of three years uh -huh. as mayor. What advice would you have for the next mayor of Squamish? If Denise Imbo and Bianca Peters ever try to interview you, you should run the other way as fast as you can. That's my most important piece of advice to uh, Rob Kirkham. Uh, you know what? I got lots of advice I could give lots of people, but luckily Rob Kirkham doesn't need my advice. Rob Kirkham has been on council for three years. He's been a great decision maker. He uh, makes balanced, reasoned decisions after doing all the work, and that's why it's been a pleasure to serve with him, and that's why he's going to be a great mayor. Well, this will be tough for you, I think, Greg, because you've started a lot of things going, and you've, uh, you, I mean, there's definitely been some changes at City Hall, and do you feel a bit like you're leaving some unfinished business? Well, um, we've, I'm very proud of what our council has accomplished. We've um, done a lot of things and turned things, in my opinion, in the right direction. But there's always lots of work to be done, and there is uh, always will be lots of work to be done. I think that uh, with 
Rob at the helm that he will continue to move that business forward. So, no, it gives me confidence when you have people like Rob stepping forward. So there's nothing that you wish you could finish or wish you could stay on for? No, no specific issue or you're just happy, you're, you're feeling okay, peaceful? You know, the District of Squamish is bigger than one person. There's lots of unfinished business out there. And uh, even when I was on council, mayor or otherwise, I was one person of seven. And the seven of us were leader of a 150 person team. And that team was in some ways the leader of a 17,000 person community. And a community that's made up of lots of special interest groups, uh, moving lots of initiatives forward. So everybody has a role to play. And I'm sure I'll be involved in the community in a different role than mayor moving forward. I always have been. And we'll all get there together. <laughs> I'm with Terrell Patterson, and Terrell, you've ran for mayor a number of times, is that true? That's true, unfortunately, yes, yes, that's true. Well, does it look like you'll be running again this campaign? No, we'll have four candidates, and four is more than adequate. So you're, will you be running for council? Oh yes, we all slip down. We have five positions you can run for. Yeah. Uh, lots of times I'll go in more than one race. Okay, so what do you feel is the most important issue for the next mayor of Squamish? Well, the people who speak to me, the issues are broken into two categories. Those that affect an individual quickly and immediately, and those are, other ones are those who are interested like the oceanfront, or the Garibaldi, the Squamish, the bigger issues. You're asking me the question of the biggest victor that the mayor is going to face? Yes. I wouldn't want to ramble at six green councillors. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the biggest difficulty you're going, to, you're going to have at least four new people on there who haven't even attended a meeting. That's going to be the biggest incumbents to the mayor. That's going to be his biggest problem. That's interesting. Now, Terrell, you're one of the few people who would tell me that because most people would tell a bigger global issue or they would, they would point to something that affects them. But you are a council watchdog and you are at every single council meeting. Tell me, of the people who are running, how many of those are sitting waiting to find out what, what's the next step in this, in this whole process? Do they, how much do they know our town in this part of our town? I'd say very little. I would say they know very little. And we'll know tomorrow night's a council meeting. And I doubt if you see any of the so-called 18 showing up to the meeting to find out even where the washroom is, never mind the issues of the day. They are not running because of issues of the day. Those three to four vacant seats are like a magnet. They are running because the opportunity is there. They are not running on principle. They are running because they feel they have a chance. Interesting. So what would be your advice for those that are running? Not the mayor, because the mayor, you, you've already identified his problem. But for those who are considering running or are running, what would be your advice to them? Because we're at this kickoff. Tomorrow will be the opening of nomination papers. It's a short time. What would be your advice to them? Well, you better be prepared to have a certain amount of time for the job. You, you have to be able to read the stuff. You better have a certain level in an intellect to understand this gobbledygook. And you have to have a certain amount of character. Otherwise, they'll snow you. So that's what they're going to have to do. If they think, because I've seen it on TV, Carol, I can do it. Well, I'm afraid they're going to be disappointed. Why is it different? Why is it different being there than watching it on TV? The cameras are one of the best things I ever did to get in there, but the cameras only show you what the cameras see. It's interesting, the interaction, how the other people are reacting to the person speaking when the cameras are directed. There, there's no substitute for being there. It doesn't matter how much you read about a subject. I say that you want to fix a car. You can read all the books in the world, but until you get your hands dirty and get in there, you really don't understand what it's all about. So we're going to end up with four new people. None of them have a clue what they're getting into, and in my opinion, they don't really care. And that's what it's going to amount to. The reason for that, out of 16 to 18 people running, the votes will be split so bad, it doesn't require very much to get a seat. Maybe as low as 1,400. So, I've always found when something is too easy to obtain, they really don't appreciate it. And that's what you're going to have. You're going to have a bunch of self-serving incompetence looking over Squamish for the next three years.
Okay, well, thank you for your comments. I appreciate that. And I, I what else I appreciate, Terrell, is that you have taken an interest in our community and in your way have managed to try and make this community a better place. You've, uh, you have, you are well read, you know the issues, you stay abreast of the issues. In my experience, you've mostly been right, and I appreciate that contribution that you've made. Thank you. Thank you.